I'm gonna make this really simple. We have two cartridges, they print the same, they look the same, but this cartridge can grow your business today and it's 30% less. Learn more at cloverimaging.com. Today's burning question is, why do dealers need to diversify? There's uh, plenty of reasons why dealers should be thinking about diversifying. Declining print volumes is a big one. As a matter of fact, in our 2018 survey, 55% of dealers expressed that as a concern. Hardware margins are getting a lot tighter. That's another reason to diversify. Gives you an opportunity to go wider and deeper with existing customers. It gives you an opportunity to attract new customers and it helps you position your dealership for success in the future. Augmenting or complementing your core offerings is also gonna put you in a better position to have a more consultative and value-oriented conversation with your customers and target cost customers. At the same time, it's, uh, it is more likely to help you have that conversation with somebody even more senior in the company. Those dealers that are uh, more likely to continue main maintaining for as long as they can prior to exiting the business in the near future, diversification is also important. OEMs, other dealers, uh, as well as venture capitalists, all particularly within the past year have made it very clear that dealers who are more diversified and have more to offer uh, beyond the core business are in many cases going to be more attractive acquisition targets. Managed IT is a great way to diversify and I think what we're going to be seeing is more dealers getting into this as more products out there are connected to the network. Okay, another uh, diversification opportunity is security. One of the hottest trends in our industry anywhere today. I mean in our personal lives, in the entire business world globally, security is really where it's at. Virtually every OEM is incorporating some sort of security component to their products. One of the other great things about security is there's a recurring revenue stream attached to it as there should be with most all diversification opportunities. And the other thing we can't ignore, especially as we look to the future here, smart office solutions. We've got Sharp, We've got Rico, we've got Konica Minolta getting into this. I think we're going to be seeing more vendors provide products. A lot of this is artificial intelligence based. With all the emerging technologies, whether it's AI or uh, VR, virtual reality, or something else, if it's something that can help optimize an office environment and a dealer is not providing it, somebody else in your market will. Another area of diversification is printing services. I, I was just up at Premium Digital in Parsippany, small dealer, and they acquired a printing company. And this is a company that does trade show banners, they do signage, they do printing on promotional items, they do business cards, basic invitations, basically anything that needs to be printed. It's a great way for them to get their foot in the door and then introduce them to all the other products that they're selling. But printing services is a very big growing area for this small dealership. Production and industrial print is another area that we feel really strongly that, that is an excellent opportunity for dealers to explore. Uh, it may not be right for everybody, but it is certainly likely right for more dealers than have actually embraced it to date. Production and industrial print is not only for the large mega dealer the top five or 10%, the dealers over 30 million. There are plenty of ways to enter into the market. Riza makes some great products for doing that. Um, Konica Minolta's Muratech precision label machines are another way to get into, to get into that space, specifically into the label segment. The, the potential for substantial annuity streams is, is a reality. It's really, really there. Uh, and the five key annuity streams to, to think about and talk to your vendors about are ink, toner, 
services, software, and substrates, not necessarily paper, but virtually anything else that you can think of. The other thing that Scott and I and all of us here at the Canal Report would encourage all dealers to do is really take a look at where your OEMs are investing. When Scott and Frank and I were in Japan last year, uh, the Tier 1 manufacturers, in addition to Kyocera, made it very clear what they plan to continue investing in the upper end. So if that's where they're spending their money, or they're spending a significant amount of their R&D dollars, it would behoove all dealers to at least take a look at where they're going so that you put yourself in a better position to, to make the best possible decision for the direction of your own dealership.